Hello there. Uh, in this movie, I'll show you all the important tips and techniques to conduct a meeting through Zoom app and especially when you are using a laptop. Okay, so the very first thing that you need to do is visit zoom.us website and then under the resource resource section click on download zoom client then if you have windows operating system click on this one download the very first option start download with the file to be downloaded once the download completes run this file it will start installing the software without asking for any additional information once the software is installed this is what it will look like and if it doesn't start automatically then you can go to start and there is an option called start zoom or you can simply type zoom and you can again go back to that option start zoom app click on it the very first thing that you need to do is sign in and if you have gmail account you can click on sign in with gmail or google I'm going to use one of the official ID I have so I'll click on this because I have already logged in through this account in my browser so that is why I can see that user ID in this list so I'll simply click the user ID I'm interested in in this case I'm going to select this one if it is not there it will probably ask you to fill in your Gmail ID personally so you can fill in your Gmail ID personally and then you can enter uh, uh, the password and then you again you will be come back to this particular interface now I'm going to click open so that it will again redirect me to the app rather than this browser so I'll click on open and now you can see it is now going to connect me to my account so I'm going to cut this I'll give it some time now you can see I have got one already meeting which was a test meeting so I'm going to delete this okay and this is how it will look like initially and before doing anything let's have some important settings first so I'll go and click on setting the very first thing is I'm going to audio and test speaker is there so if you want to see whether your speaker is working or not just click on this button you can see this variation this was because of the sound that I am playing you can see that so that means the speaker is working then the second one is microphone you can see as I'm speaking this is varying. that means it is detecting the mic if you want to test you can click on this button you will speak something and after some time it will repeat whatever you have spoken so that is a way to test whether your mic is working or not this is the microphone that is being used in my case I'm using a headphone so that is why this is the name of the headphone and if you're not using any headphone most probably you will be using the microphone of the laptop and it is going to be something like that microphone or a real tech high definition something like this okay so make sure if you are using additional microphone you do that setting here and then what else you can do you can go to recording and this is the location where all of your recording will go if you are planning to record your meeting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into some inconvenient location so I'll click on change I'll select the desktop and I'll click make new folder and I'm going to name this 
zoom meeting recordings okay click ok Wait. I just forgot to select this okay here it is click on this click ok and now you can see that same folder is created now on the desktop and right now it is empty so from this point onward whatever I'll record that will be stored in this particular folder there is another option choose a location for recorded files when the meeting ends whenever you start the meeting once it gets in there now there is an option when you check this it will ask you where to store that file by default that is going to be stored here but if you check this it will ask you every time you will end up end up with the meeting so in my case i'm going to continue with this one this seems fine to me now there is also option called record a separate audio file for each participant so if there are four participants we'll check this there will be four separate audio file for all those speakers and if you're planning to edit your video you can make sure you check this so that it can be used further in any some some video editor in my case i'm not going to edit this i'm going to keep it raw so i'll leave this this is very important add a timestamp to the recording so when this is checked your video will contain a timestamp that when that video uh, is being recorded and that is very important from proof point of view if someone is asking to show you the proof of the conduct of the meeting you can keep this checked so that it will be uh, embedded to the video itself okay and it will be easy to prove that at what time you have conducted your meeting and there is option called record video during screen sharing um, there may be a time when you will be asked to share your uh, you can say screen so if we'll keep this checked it will also the recording will also contain the sharing of your screen so I'm going to keep these three things checked then I can go to audio okay I'm done with this one in general setting there is an option called recording now and there is a option called enable HD so when we check this the video which will be located in this area that uh, will be uh, you can say of HD quality and there is if you want to give it a little bit of touch you can select this touch up my appearance and the video quality will be a little bit smoother then go to general and then there is your option call enter full screen automatically when starting or joining a meeting so make sure this is checked I do this because I prefer to keep myself distract not distracted from the other things on the happening on the desktop so this is a better option now all that I'm done with the setting let me close this now just to ensure that whatever I have done or changes is still there I can go to the recording you can see those three options are still there that folder is still set to the same thing that I set earlier so that simply means the setting is saved now because there is no other additional of option to save that now let me close this meeting that I had beforehand so that I can show you okay at this point of time I don't have anything uh, in the meeting list so I'm going to make a schedule on schedule on so click on schedule and going to name this meeting academic affairs issues so I'm going to conduct a meeting on this topic which is academic affairs affair issues and I'm planning to conduct this meeting on let us say 10th of April somewhere around 11 a.m. and in the free version I can keep this time to 30 only I can keep it 40 you can see but there is no option to keep it 40 so I'll stick to 30th minute meeting and I do not want it to recur I just want to have conduct this meeting only once so I'll keep this unchecked if you want to repeat this meeting on every every day or every week 
so you can keep this checked and you can do the additional setting you are interested in make sure you are using india time zone or mumbai kolkata new delhi time zone which is plus 530 okay because it will affect the notification when appears on your device now there are two options you can generate meeting id automatically for the system for the meeting or you can just simply click the personal meeting id which has been assigned or linked to your uh, account so i prefer to keep this one now i want this meeting to be password protected so that only the authorized person can join this so i can check this and i can give it any password which i prefer okay and which is easy to type for someone else as well so you can see this is a very simple password to remember now i prefer to keep these two on host video on and participant video on by default when we start this very first time it will be off so make sure these two are on so that the moment you will join the meeting you'll be able to speak and people will be able to see you in the audio section make sure this computer audio is uh, checked and therefore whatever will speak the laptop will record through the microphone so make sure this is active we are not going to use this telephone and because that is a paid word paid thing so i'm not going to keep this on i'll just keep this computer audio and i want to save this in google calendar so i'll simply more option okay i forgot to mention one thing keep this checked automatically record meeting on the local computer so that means the whenever the meeting will start the recording will start automatically without any further information provided by you so if this is checked you do not do not need to worry about recording manually and uh, make sure these two are checked as well because when this is checked it simply means although the host has not joined the meeting the participant will will be able to join so this is a good option to keep this checked click on save and now the meeting will be saved to your google calendar and i'm going to save this in this account allow access you'll get this one click save and now you can see the meeting that i have set from 11 am that is appearing here now okay this is the previous meeting if you remember that I, that one i deleted so i can still select this and delete this from the calendar as well because this is no longer scheduled here so we have one meeting at 11 am now in order to share this i can simply click here copy invitation i can and i can send this through email to someone so just to show you what i have copied let me paste the same thing into the notepad and you can see it is saying that sonu kumar singh is inviting you to schedule a zoom meeting the name of the topic is mentioned the detail of the time is mentioned and date and this is the link where the meeting is supposed to be conducted this is the meeting id and this is the password so these two are going to be required if you are willing to join this meeting conducted by this person so you can copy this text send someone to the mail through the mail or you can send this through whatsapp or whatever medium you prefer i'm not going to save this now in order to join a meeting let us say you have got this invitation let me copy this you have got this information and you are willing to join this meeting so all you have to do is go to join enter the meeting id which is this one paste it here and there is option called do not connect to audio to turn off my video so i'm going to turn off my video because i do not want to see my face at least at this moment 
when you start the meeting make sure it is unchecked so that your face will be visible to the person who is hosting the meeting and then I'm going to click on join okay I'll wait for a moment okay and then there is an option called join with computer audio so I'll select this and if I would not want this page every time or pop up so I can simply click this one and click join with computer audio and now you can see there is a option that you are using computer audio now whenever I'm speaking you can see this is fluctuating that means it is reading whatever I'm saying and there is an option of recording you can see I haven't done anything still recording is on because I have checked the recording by default okay so that I can show you what do I mean now since I'm the only one person here so that is why the participant is total one and I haven't started the video now if I changed my mind I can simply start the video by clicking here okay and this is the name of the camera which is installed and you can see this is the headphone that I'm using as a microphone if I'll select this one it will use the microphone of the laptop now let us say in between the meeting you want to pause the recording there is an option called pause so you can simply click here as well if you want to stop you can stop the recording as well so I'll show you by pausing the video so I'll simply pause the video for now and you can see recording has paused now whatever you are doing at this moment that is not going to be recorded now again I'm going to start this and now whatever I'm speaking that is again being recorded now I'm not going to stop this I'm simply going to end this meeting so I'll click here and I have option called end meeting for all so if I will select this the meeting will be ended and I can only leave meeting but since I'm only person doesn't make any difference I'm going to click in meeting for all and see automatically the recording is being converted so I'll just wait now you can see we have got a couple of files here and this is the video file zoom 0 so if you will run this file it will ask you to select a player I'm selecting VLC media player and have a look this is the video since I didn't use my camera so that is why my profile picture is there so all I'm going to do is play and I'm going to keep quiet for a moment so that you can see that it has recorded audio as well let me move it a little bit and I'm going to keep quiet and listen to this reading whatever I'm saying and there is an option of recording you can see so now you got the idea whatever I was speaking at that time that is being that was being recorded and, and so this is audio and video file as well and this is what we call timestamp so you can see that the video was recorded on 10th of April 2020 and in the morning of uh, in the morning around 1:40 a.m. okay so this is the idea or the, this is the advantage of timestamp it gives an idea that whether the meeting was conducted the right time or not as it was conveyed now in order to share the audio file only this is the audio file you have to share you can listen to this audio as well and you will see this is the same audio file going to fast forward it now whenever I'm speaking you can see okay just listen so this is the audio this is not what I am speaking at this moment this is the audio that is recorded have a look see this is fluctuating that means it is reading whatever I am okay so if you are willing to share audio file only share this file if you have to share audio video both share this one and if you remember there was an option to check to separate uh, sorry to record audio files separately now this is the audio file of this user so if there were let us say five users there will be five different files for each one of them okay so if you are willing to analyze the uh, you can say participation level of each one of those participants you can hear their voices 
separately in each video without any disruption of others so that is also a good option okay and you can see under this zoom meeting folder because this is the folder we set up earlier and this is how it is going to look like the date time and who was the who was you know attending that meeting and what was the meeting id so this is how the file gets saved okay so i hope you got the idea how does it work just in case if you have some query feel free to post your query as a question i'll make sure i answer your question okay. have a nice day